Epic has gotten lazy. Ever since the retirement of Fortnite's creator Donald Mustard, the game has felt a bit dull. But why? Hello there, I'm G Hound, and this is the explanation of how Epic has gotten lazy. Now, let's get one thing clear. Epic is most definitely not as lazy as Mojang with its one mob update, but with the start of Chapter 5 bringing in a whole three new game modes and later brought us Reload, with all these modes, are they even worth it? With Rocket Racing and Fortnite Festival pretty much losing their entire playbase after two seasons, and at the start of Chapter 5 Season 3, not even LEGO could keep up. And with the newly released Reload mode, it felt a bit rushed. And that's not to say these modes aren't good, they all just felt unfinished. Take Reload for example. This mode felt like they saw their numbers go down and remembering the success of OG decided to pop a few hit songs in their advertising and bang, after two weeks of development, you get Reload. And it worked, with a consistent high player base, but it still felt like a standard creative map. This has even happened to live events as well, with Donald Mustard's last season he worked on vibing, when Epic Games took over the next season, they gave us this garbage. And if you weren't there to experience it for yourself, it was most genuinely a creative map that we had to stand for for a whole hour through this. They, li they genuinely tried to sell this as a proper live event. Now the Big Bang event was a lot better in quality, but it just still felt like cheap advertising for the three game modes for the start of chapter 5. Now they may have gone lazy with the new game modes and events, but what about the main selling point of Fortnite, Battle Royale? Battle Royale ever since vibing wasn't a bad game, it had few features each season, and at the start of chapter 4 gave us a full overhaul on the graphic system, making this game look absolutely glorious. But when people start to complain, it's not always a clear answer. Let's take a look at the map for example. Every chapter up to chapter 5 has always been a bright and colourful game. Look at chapter 1, see how colourful it is? And you might say, well it's only because of the new graphics. And what I say to that, you are completely wrong. Look at chapter 4, you cannot tell me that this isn't bright and colourful. And if you do, I'm going to punch you through my monitor. And you might think, how does this even prove that Epic is even lazy? Well you see, when Fortnite was a bit more artistic and cartoony with their style, they went for a unique look for their Battle Royale game. But with chapter 5, they just took the easy way route and came up with realistic graphics that pretty much look like every other game that we have today. That's not saying that realistic graphics are bad, it's just they took the really easy way out. This is even further proven with skins. Take a look at Iron Man from Chapter 2 and compare it to Chapter 5's brand new Iron Man skin. And look at the difference. Notice how dull and desaturated the skin looks, just like the rest of this chapter. And personally, I think Fortnite needs that artistic style. But if that isn't enough, let's talk about events. It is no coincidence that Chapter 2 holds some of the best events ever made in Fortnite, giving us the Galactus event, this Operation Skyfire event, and of course the end event of Chapter 2. But we don't get this anymore. The most we get nowadays is just a fat promotion at the end of each chapter, promoting whatever they have to upcome next, like Rocket Racing, Fortnite Festival, or even LEGO Fortnite and possibly in Chapter 6, their upcoming Disney collaboration. And if that's still not enough for you, has anyone noticed that the Loot Island PNG has stayed the same since Chapter 4? What? Like, you can't tell me they were that lazy that they couldn't change the PNG of a simple island. Now let's talk gameplay. It is true that Chapter 5 Season 4, the brand new Marvel season, Absolute Doom, has been picking up on a bunch of new little cool weapons and items, but the three seasons before that, there was pretty much no uniqueness to the items. Pretty much a reskin scar that you could put attachments on, and an SMG, a shotgun, and your classic all-in-all -all just basic uh, gun loadout for each chapter. There was not really any fun, unique weapons like what we had in chapter 2 with like the UFOs, and it's not really a weapon, but like you got like items like the cow bounty thing, like that was fun. Like it was stupid, but it was inc it was just fun to fuck around with. And it's not like it's like chapter two was the only one that did this. We got chapter three with a bunch of different mechanics and cool weapons. Like we literally got chrome 
you could just go through walls. That was insane. And then with Chapter 4, their entire season roster had these cool little kinetic weapons, like the kinetic boomerang, katana, and the hammer. Those were fun and amazing. Like, no matter how much disrespect you have on Chapter 4 as, a, like, a chapter, you gotta, you can't lie, them weapons were pretty fun to play around with. And there's, there's no issue with reskinning, right? It, like, if your idea is, okay, I want to bring the jetpack back, but... I don't know, we need to make a newer some way. Let's reskin it. That, that's a reasonable outcome. But like, if you're like, well, what's something unique we can come up here? I'm just going to rip off something that we've already done in chapter one and just reskin it. That's a, that's a different story on how reskinning works. Like, you have some good reskins and you haven't just like really just, you could tell how lazy they were with some other reskins. Alright, now let's just talk about seasonal events, specifically with Fort Nightmares. Now, since this video is being recorded and posted before the brand new 2024 Fort Nightmares for this year, we're going to be talking about the chapters before that and what they had and what Epic should put into this Fort Nightmares. Because from the teaser alone, it's already looking like we're just going to get a bunch of collab skins and nothing really too much happening overall gameplay. Like for last year, when we had Last Resort, all we, the only brand new weapon that we got was the wood stake shotgun. And then literally in this teaser, it looks like they're going to be reusing that exact same gun again. And pretty much all that Fortnite's doing is now making just high quality collab skins for people to buy and make money off of. Now, fair enough, like, companies making money, you kind of need to make a profit. But, like, they're putting all their effort all into just money grabs instead of the actual enjoyment of players, which should, which should be their main focus. Because if you have more players that enjoy your game, you could have more players just to buy skins in general. So when, if you do both, if you guys manage to add like slightly less skins, but like increase the, like the unique and gameplay aspect of this year's Fort Nightmares, it's going to make it 10 times better. But as, uh, two things I see from this trailer is Fat Saw collab and the Woodstake Shotgun being reused again. Now there are some pretty cool skins in here, like the Dark Marshmallow and this cool Pumpkin Knight looking thing. Those two skins I'm really excited for. But it seems like Epic has just focused their attention onto these skins just to make money. I believe with this Fortnite Mez, I don't think we're going to be getting any unique gameplay aspects. Maybe just one or two decorations around the map, or maybe even none like last season with Last Resort. I don't know what that was, but we practically had zero decorations there. All I asked for is like something unique, like a POI, just a structure. If, if Fortnite adds a, at least a structure to it, I will be happy. I will be like, one or two structures, great. One or two new guns, not just the wood stake shotgun, amazing. If we get like a chainsaw, that would be sick. That would be lovely. But what I expect with this Fortnite Mares is they're not going to do any of that. And if they don't, I feel like Fortnite's just going to lose their uniqueness and enjoyment that the players once had before. And I think, feel like if Fortnite keeps going this route, they won't die, but Fortnite will just be known as that game that just isn't fun anymore. And I think if Fortnite puts their efforts into true and unique gameplay aspects and abilities, I think that is what will make Chapter 6 better than all of past previous chapters. I hope that the brand new creative director of Epic Games will take care of this choice. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Goodbye. And of course, use go Hound in the Fortnite item shop. Hashtag epic partner.